Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm doing a review for the Kat Von D foundation. It's new. It's called Lock It Longwear Foundation. And this review was requested by Shoot the Moon 333. So thank you so much for watching. And this is for you. All right, so let me just start off with the facts about it um, before I get into how to apply it and how I feel about it. So um, it is a 24 hour wear. This color that I wear is M54. There's a great array of colors um, from the whitest, ivoriest porcelain white to a pretty dark, dark color. Um, it's almost as good as the Makeup Forever range. Um, it is a little smaller, but it definitely has a good color range. It is meant to work with her primer, her face primer, her elixir, it's called, and her setting mist and her concealer. It is um, meant to work with those but it doesn't you don't have to have them to um, to work with this so um, also it provides a 24-hour wear that's transfer resistant it is made for long wear um, it is pretty heavy because it's full coverage so usually uh, full coverage foundations are a little bit thicker it does have some extra technical qualities to it that I'll explain in a second and I'll read to you verbatim the a description of it because sometimes I don't know how to speak but um, it says that uh, it has a bold coverage the proprietary it has proprietary pigments that can um, effectively cover tattoos the combination of raw materials and the best siliconic elastomers and siliconic esters provide 24-hour wear with transfer resistance uh, natural polymers absorb oil for a matte, soft finish, and the added emollients provide a velvety texture for perfectly smooth, hydrated skin. So I'd say that pretty much um, sums it up as to the description of what this does for you. Um, but let me just get into the technicalities of this foundation. This foundation, because it's transfer resistant, um, and 24 hour wear you do have a dry time for how long it takes you to blend it out and I do suggest you use a brush to properly even it out I have it on right now um, it is beautiful it really is but you do have to be careful when you apply it um, what I like to do is put it on the back of my hand and warm it up really good so the thickness of it can kind of be warmed up and it makes it more pliable to apply. You also need a lot less than you think. This is 21% pigment. Super, super duper coverage. <laughs> like, no joke. So, don't expect to throw a lot on and think that it's going to look awesome because a little goes a long way. You also want to make sure that before you apply that you have properly cleansed and thoroughly hydrated your face because, I mean, generally no foundations look good on unhydrated skin or even unexfoliated skin. So make sure that you're doing both of those before you apply such a heavy foundation. It is oil free, fragrance free. Um, it's not made with any parabens or synthetic fragrances. Some people say that it smells like cupcakes or something I don't it doesn't smell like anything to me so I don't know what they're talking about they said it smells like frosting which I'm not really sure why they think that because it has no scent at all but um, again make sure that you're properly hydrated I read some reviews on Sephora.com about um, the issues that people have with it and it's a common issue that I find at work at Sephora that um, people will bring it back and I, it's usually an application error. It's all in the application. Um, I do use either a Botfine brush to apply it or if I want a more sheer coverage I'll use a fluffier airbrush brush by Sephora. And this one's by Real Techniques. But other than that, as long as you keep your face hydrated or um, like in the video I did for this makeup, I cut it down with an illuminator to kind of shear it out. You can do those and you can still get a great finish. It's really easy to blend if you kind of hurry. You want to be kind of timely because the longer you wait to blend it in, the splotchier it'll be because it's transfer resistant. 
people once it dries it's gonna you know just like eyeliner that's waterproof once it dries you're not blending that sucker out you got to start all over again so um some of the reviews had a problem with that but again um you want to be timely you want to warm it up on the back of your hand or you want to cut it with either your primer or an illuminator or even with your moisturizer if you want you want to make sure that your face is properly cleansed and hydrated or it will stick to the dry patches on your skin and it will be harder to blend out with any foundation but especially this one so but as far as what I think about it, I really love it. I really do. I haven't broken out from it. I saw some reviews that people were complaining of breaking out, but I honestly don't see how that's possible because it has no parabens, no synthetic fragrances, no oil. It's water-based. Um, unless, you know, you're purging or something like I, I really don't see how you could break out or unless you're just a very sensitive skin type which is totally possible because it's a very heavy coverage so if you find that it's a little too heavy for you but you want that type of coverage then just like I said cut it with a primer make sure it's water based just like the makeup um, you don't want to mix water and oil together you'll just get a big you'll get a big mess. So just make sure that your moisturizer is water-based, your primer, and it'll go well with the foundation. So yeah, that is my review of the Locket Foundation. Comes in a wide variety, full coverage, transfer resistant, matte finish, fragrance-free, oil-free, all around really awesome, awesome, um, technologically advanced uh, foundation. I really love it. Just remember what I said about the technicalities of applying. It's all in the application and I'm sure you're gonna freaking love this foundation. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!